Hi guys, it's Eileen from Bates Photography. Come see what's growing in our garden. It's all getting exciting now, mid-June and things are in bloom. Come see what we have going on. <laughs> So to kick off this little tour, we have the Super Sweet 100s. Look at those tomatoes forming. And then we also have another two sets. Let's see if I can stick it in here. Um, one going this way and one going that way. So this looks like this is gonna be a very prolific plant. Come see the other tomatoes. Here we have our San Marzano plant. And actually today, I saw some tomatoes on here. I didn't even notice this yesterday. It is incredible how fast this changes. I'm gonna move right over here. We have two of these plants. Um, and that's the only one, this is the other San Marzano. I don't see any tomatoes on it yet, but I do see all the flowers in there. And then here, I see for our brandy wine, there's the beef steak, the big, the big guy forming right there. So that's cool. And we do have more tomatoes with flowers and just, um, just bringing out their flowers now. So that should be forming tomatoes soon. Let's check out the green beans. Looking at these beans, we actually have some here that are ready to be picked. So I know they say it's important to pick them, so that they keep producing throughout the summer. So I'm going to have to do that. But we have some of various sizes, smaller sizes. Um, but yeah, we definitely have some ready. So we're gonna have to get these harvested. Over here, we're with the Black Beauty Zucchini. And oh my goodness, we just harvested um, one off of this like two days ago. And look at that guy. Just another day or two and that'll be ready. So how fun it is with zucchini, they just keep coming. Here's my borage that is so beautiful. Look at these blue flowers. And I grew this from seed. So these are in fact edible. If people wanna, they say it's like a cucumber flavor. I actually just grew it to be um, an extra pollinator for this garden. But that borage is looking absolutely stunning. Here's our cucumber plant that's showing a little cucumber there. So these are still small. We haven't gotten anything off of this yet. Let me back up so you can see the plant. And I think we have some at the bottom. So this is, they're coming. The cucumbers are coming. This is one of my favorites. I mean, this is a sea of blue with these blueberries. Look at all these here. Look at all these here. And the reason I'm leaving them on the plant and I haven't harvested them yet is because I don't know if you can see, there's just a little bit of purple where that blue is. And it has to be completely blue on the bottom to have that perfect sweetness. So I'm waiting for that to happen. And you better believe I'm checking this every day. We have them here, every bush, every bush has them on there. So I just want them to get to that perfect sweetness because a blueberry will actually not ripen after you pick it. So it's very important to pick it at the perfect time. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. We have other things growing and we'll be harvesting in the future, but it's just so cool to see those tomatoes forming and all these, these blueberries getting ready. It's just an exciting time. This, this spring weather has been fantastic. And thank you so much for joining us on our gardening tour and our gardening journey. Please like and subscribe and have a blessed day. Thank mm -hmm. you.